a, an, a just a fabulous documentary, and our Miss Whoopi, you narrated the yeah. documentary yeah, lady, as well. You did the voice. <laughs> now, it's, I mean, it's hard to imagine Elmo sounding any different than he does. Especially me sounding like Barry White. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Elmo, but you weren't the first uh, voice. No, of Brian Elmo. Mule, uh, who was a puppeteer, uh, performed him for a couple of uh, uh, months. And then he went to uh, pursue his writing and acting. And then Richard Hunt, uh, our big brother, who worked with Jim, closely with Jim, took him over and started screaming like Jim a caveman. Jim, yeah, yeah, Jim Henson. And, um, and so Richard took him and, uh, and didn't like him, threw him to me. And then he said, come up with a voice and said, <laughs> hello, everybody. He took me into the producer, and she said, I don't care. If you don't want to do it, he can do it. Yeah. Oh and there was gosh. two more, two more uh, bits that season that I got through and then went home and hung out with my mom and daycare kids and then found Elmo. You know, in watching the documentary, I didn't realize that your love of puppets, like, actually started very young. I, I, started, I thought I started maybe... building puppets when I was 10 years old, sure. What was the first you built? Mickey from Mouse. You did? Yeah, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> and then from there, uh, one of the ones that I'm still living to talk about is, is Mondi that I, I cut out of my... <laughs> My, my father's <laughs> coat lining and, oh, no. and uh, yeah, I'm, li I'm still here to tell the tale. And that's, you know, that's that Mondi, was yeah. a touching part of the sh movie because yes. some parents yeah, would have gotten much. angry with their child for cutting up an expensive coat. And your parents did no. not. And I think that was the crucial part well, of the he, movie and he, why you are who you are. Because you have good parents. Yeah, oh my, Miss Gladys and Mr. George. <laughs> I love you, love you, love you dearly. They good but, you know, I gotta say that one, Something that, that people don't generally see, which they will see in the documentary, is, is you guys just, you know, we see you. We never physically see you guys, and yet there I'm you are. over this table. Yes. <laughs> I'm, yes, right, and I'm I talking to you. Unbelievable <laughs> things in the room. And you based A lot of Jimmy Choo shoes and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, by the time you were in high school, sure. this, you made 88 puppets. Yeah. Now, did you teach yourself all those 88 puppets all by yourself? Yeah, I was, I was, that was before uh, meeting Kermit and meeting Jim Henson and all Kermit that Love, stuff. Yeah. Kermit the, Love, who was your mentor, yeah. really. He was wonderful. And Stu yeah. Kerr, who was yeah. my first mentor, sure. Yeah. You said, though, I mean, you talk about your parents, and you said that, that because uh, you had traveled so much with Elmo, sure. that had hurt your own family. You got divorced, your daughter resented you for years. I remember interviewing Candace Bergen years ago, and she uh, said yeah, that yeah. Edgar Bergen, if, if any of you remember, sure. loved Charlie McCarthy, well, spent more time with Charlie McCarthy than he sure, did with sure. her. Well, Shannon so... didn't resent me. What, what she, she was becoming a teenager, and she, would, she knew she was getting ready to go to school. So, and um, she, went to my mom, she went to her mom and said, listen, I, I got to send this. Can, is it okay? I don't want Dad to get mad. And, and Gina said, no, send it. And it was all about, listen, I have three more years before I go to college. I want some time with you. Yeah. And, you know, you forget. Yeah. You're you were so involved. You time with Elmo. Yeah. yeah, and I was running around doing all this but stuff. Then, and what, I, Oh, I'm sorry. What? I was just going to ask you. You do all this. What is, the, what is this? What is, <laughs> I, explain this to me, please. It's very unusual, Whoopi. Yes. I'm, I'm going to show let's you with, with, with Elmo there real quick. There he is. All right, let's see Elmo. Yes. About him. <laughs> no, but it, you know what, what, what happens is well, what what happens is uh, J Jim Henson taught us that the, the voice is he's biting me now. The voice comes from the back of the throat. So okay. you know we we what we do with our hands is Don't pick do up that stuff. To Elmo. Oh, sorry. Please <laughs> <laughs> go our, leave the room. What we do with our hands is pick up stuff. But with puppeteering, you open the mouth. You open the hands to to make the. The voice come out, so it's mm -hmm. one. Come on, everybody, put your hands up. Everybody, put your hands up. Yeah. Close the mouth. This always starts closed, close, and then yeah. open. One, one two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Now, this is a hard one. It's two syllables. Seven, seven, eight, seven nine, eight, nine, ten. ten. There you go. You can all be puppeteers now. Come on. <laughs> over the Hello, seven everybody. And three. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Let Elmo take us home. <laughs> take us home, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to thank yes. Kevin Clash. Oh, I love. Oh my, oh my God, he's a little, a little turned on. Being Elmo, a puppeteer's journey is playing now in select theaters in New York and opens in Los Angeles November fourth. We will be right back, baby. <laughs>